dis-ease. It's like playing chess in a room without lights. You feel for the rook and knock over a bishop. You can't tell whose pawn is whose, but you move anyway. You realize with a start that all strategy is tactile, that every attempt to kill the king is a stab in the dark. But it's your turn, and you're surrounded by horses. You can smell them breathing down your neck. You enlist the aid of the Dark Queen, but her power flounders because she doesn't know where she is. Your own king is in danger. He inches left toward imagined safety, insisting a heated corner can stand in for a palace. Lit by his visionary gleam, the whole board for one moment can be glimpsed, but then subsides into sudsy blackness. He believes he's seen his salvation, but he doesn't realize only his mate can rescue him.